and we are actually going to be hard beside on Friday night when Team Rickshaw arrive at their destination after their first day in the saddle. <laughs> uh, we are going to be in Padstow if you're interested, if you'd like to come and join oh, us. Oh, they have a shock you. after the first day, won't they? Now, <laughs> this year we've got two Georges in Team Rickshaw and we're about to hear why the music-loving George G is riding with Matt and the team. But before we do, here's a little message from another TV food lover. The very best of luck to Team Rickshaw. I know how hard everyone's been training for this year's challenge, so here's to raising a ton of money for children in need. My name is George. I'm 16 years old. This sign is me, and I'm a musician. This is my musical layer. So that's a poster of mine. I went to see Los Dumas, and I saw Billy Elliot. These are all my DVDs. One of my favourites, this is Annie. I like conducting musicals. We'd got married and we knew that we wanted at least one child. I went to the doctors and I remember this very young nurse and she said, I have your results and your baby is trisomy 21, which is the medical term for Down syndrome. We were in a state of shock, weren't we? Would people accept our baby? That was just overwhelming and terrifying. We were told that um, George might not walk, you know, might, might not talk. That creates a lot of anxiety for you as, as parents. Some people had said to me, oh, it's going to be so disappointing when you first hold him. I looked at him, I knew he was my boy, I loved him, he was perfect. Bye, Georgie. <laughs> he feels things deeply so if he's happy he's really 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 happy and if he's sad he's really it's desolate no it's a struggle for him to keep up but if mm. people appreciate that his processing is a little bit slower then he's very keen to be included it's quite hard for me having down syndrome like when everyone talks too fast i can't keep up and when ever they laugh or talk too loud, I don't really like it. One for the Good boy. I love music. It brings me joy. Wherever I go, music is my thing. He was interested in the violin from about the age of seven or eight. Mm. The violin's very difficult. Very you, difficult. He was, no, violin, I mean, that's George. Jo yeah. I'm going to be doing that, you know. And it, it did sound absolutely awful for about five years, <laughs> <laughs> to be, if I'm honest. I've just done my grade two on the violin with a distinction. George went to Precorder on a school trip. He fell in love with the place. Procorder is a music school. One of the things we're really trying to go for is how the skills on stage translate to everyday life skills and social skills. And it's been really magical to see George over the last couple of years really develop. Whenever George goes away to Procorder, you see him come back more independent. This year, I'm cycling the Rickshaw Challenge. He's going to the gym every day. I feel that it's going to be hard to start with. We cycle around Richmond Park and we've done it at night with all the deer going Boo. It might be hard because of the rain and me cycling at night. He's actually eating salad now. Salad! George, thank you for this. <laughs> I think George is going to be a quiet leader. He's an incredibly funny guy, so I think he's going to be making the team laugh a lot. I don't like waking up really early in the morning. No way. I'm very proud of him. He realises that through the money he raises, loads of other kids will benefit from the kind of opportunities that he's had. Everyone who knows me and everyone who doesn't know me, please give your money to children in need and start donating now. Well said, well said. He's such a gem.
I feel really bad now. I'm sorry to break this news to you, George, uh, but we have got a five o'clock start on Friday morning from Land's End. All right? Uh. Anyway, uh, just don't think about it. You'll, you'll get into it. You'll get into it. And uh, now, Hugh, would you do us a, an enormous favour and just tell viewers or remind viewers how they can uh, get into it? With pleasure. To donate £5 to children in need, text the word TEAM to 70705. Or to donate £10, text TEAM to 70710. Thanks, you. Uh, text will cost your donation plus your standard network message charge, and all of your donation will go to children in need. You must be 16 or over, and please ask for the bill payers' permission. Uh, for more information and for full terms and conditions, just go to bbc.co.uk forward slash pudsey, where you can also donate online if you want to give uh, a different amount. And the lines are open now. So please start texting if you yes. can. And your donations are already coming in, aren't they? Mm. Uh, so we want to thank all the people who are donating by putting your faces up in a gallery of givers. Yes, the gallery of givers. It's a new thing. All you have to do is upload <laughs> a selfie uh, once you've donated and then you can find more details up on our website. And we'll have a lovely collage of all you generous yeah. people. Um, now, a question.